ago a kind of a king and a queen ruled over the distant land. The king was kind and lovely, and all the people over the room around adored her. The only sadness in the queen's life was that she wished for a child but did not have one. The winter day, the queen was doing needlework while gazing out her envy window at the new fallen snow. A bird flew by the window, starting the queen, and she picked up a finger. A single drop of blood fell the snow outside her window. As she looked at the blood on the snow, she said to herself, Oh, how I wish that I had a daughter that had skin as white as snow, lips as, as red as the blood, and her hair as black as, and as dark. Soon after that, the king of queen got her wish when she gave birth to a baby girl who was skin wet as snow, lip red as blood, and hair black as dark. They named the baby princess Snow White, but sadly the queen died after giving the birth to Snow White. Soon after, the king married a new woman who was beautiful but was as well proud and cruel. She had studied dark magic and only magic mirror, of which she would daily ask. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who the fairy owe? Which time the question was asked, the mirror would give the same answer. O oh, queen, are the fairest of all. This pleased the queen greatly as she knew that her magical mirror could speak nothing but the truth. One morning when the queen asked the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall with the fairies of the old, she was shocked when it answered, You, my queen, are fair, is it true, but Snow White is even fairer than you. The queen flew into the jealous rage and ordered her huntsman to take Snow White into a wood to be killed. She then meant that the huntsman returned to the Snow White's heart as proof. The poor huntsman took Snow White into the forest, but found himself unable to kill a girl. Instead, he let her go, and broke queen the heart of Wabel. Snow White was now all alone in the great forest, and she did not know what to do. The trees seemed to whisper to each other, scary Snow White, who began to run. She ran over sharp stones and through thorns. She ran as far as her feet ca could carry her, and just as evening was about to fall, she saw a little house and went inside in order to rest. Inside the house, everything was small but tidy. There was a little table with a tidy white tablecloth and seven little plates. Against the wall, there were seven little beds, all in a row and covered with squid. Because she was so hungry, Snow White ate a few vegetables and little bread for each, from each little plate and from each cup she drank a little bit more milk. Afterward, because she was so tired, she laid down one of the little beds and fell fast asleep. After that, the owners of the house returned home. There were seven dwarfs who mined it of gold in the mountains. As soon as they arrived home, they saw that someone had been there for now everything was in the same order as they had left. The seven dwarfs all came running up, they cried out with amazement. They fetched their seven candles and showed the light to what's so white. They were so happy that they did not wake up and that her continued to sleep in the bed. The next morning Snow White woke up and then she saw the seven dwarfs she was frightened. But they were friendly and asked, What's your name? My name is Snow White, and she answered. How do you find the way here? The dwarf asked further. Then she told them the stepmother had to try to kill her, that the huntsman had spared her life, and that she had run entire day through the forest, finally stumbling upon their house. The dwarf spoke with each other for a while, and they said, If you want to keep house for us and cook, my beds, wash, and keep everything clean and order that you can stay with us. And you shall have everything that you want. And Snow White, and Snow White said yes with my heart. For Snow White greatly enjoyed keeping a tidy room. So Snow White had a happy life with the drops. Every morning they went into the mountain looking for gold and wind. And in the evening they came back home. Snow White had their meal ready and their house tidy. During the day and girls 
are alone except for those small animals in the forest and she often played with. Now the queen believed that she had eaten Snow White's heart could only think that she was again the, for the first and most beautiful woman of all. Stepped before the mirror and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall with the fairest of all. And answered, Yes, my queen, your fate is true. But Snow White beyond the mountains with the seven dwarfs is still a thousand times fairer than you. This startled the queen, for she knew that the mirror did not lie, and she realized that the huntsman had deceived her, that Snow White was still alive, then she thought, and thought again. How could she write herself to Snow White, for as long as long as she was not the most beautiful woman in the entire land, her jealousy would give her rest. At last, she thought of something. She went into her most secret room, no one else allowed to inside, and she made a poison apple from the outside to be beautiful, and anyone who saw it would want it, but anyone who might eat a little piece of it would die. Called her face, she disguised, he, she disguised herself as an old woman, that no one would recognize her, traveled to the drawer's house, and knocked the door. Snow White put her head out of the window and said, I must not let anyone in, and seven drawers have forbidden me to do so. This is all right with me, and so the old woman, I will easily get rid of my apples here, I will give you one of them. But Snow White said, no, I cannot accept anything from the strangers. And the old woman asked, are you afraid of poison? Look, I will cut the apple in two, you eat half and I should eat half. <laughs> Now the apple had been so artfully made those only one was present. Snow White longed for the beautiful apple and when she saw the pale woman who was eating part of it, she could no longer resist and she stuck her head out of the tube. The poison half, she barely had a bit in her mouth when she fell, on, fell to the ground dead. The queen looked at her with an evil stare, laughing loudly and said, White snow, red as black, and black as a dark. The drawers should never await you. Then she went, then she go home and asked a mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall with the fairest in the fall. And the mirror said, You, my queen, are the fairest of all. Then her cruel and jealous heart was well at rest, as well as cruel and jealous heart can be at rest. When the drawers come home that evening that they found Snow White lying on the ground, she was not breathing at all, she was dead. They left her up and looking around looking at her lonely. They talked to her, shut her head, shut her away of her, but nothing helped. The dear child was dead, and she remained dead. They lay on her on the bed and strew strove and all seven net sat next to her to mourn her and cry for three days. They were going to bury her, but she still looks as fresh as a lying person, and still has beautiful red cheeks. They said, we cannot bury her in the black earth, and there had a transparent glass coffin made, so she could see from outside. They led her inside, with golden letters wrote on its name, and that she was princess. Then they put the coffin outside on the mountain, and one of them always stayed with it and catch over her. The animals would come and moan for the Snow White, first of all, the raven, and finally the dove. Now it came past the drink. the prince entered this wood and happened all the dwarf's house that she saw shelter for the night. She stood coughing on the mountain with the beautiful Snow White in it, and she read what they written on the ink with the golden letters. Then she said to the dwarfs, let me have the coffin, I'll give you anything you want for it. The dwarf's answer will not sell it for all the gold in, in the world, and she said, Then give it to me, for I cannot live without being able to see Snow White. I will honor her and respect her as my most cherished one. As, as he speak, the good drawers have felt pity for him and gave him the coffin. The prince had her servant carry it away for the shooter, but then it happened that one of them stopped on the stone bridge and the distant for the snow white threw a piece of poison apple that she had bitten off. No long after which she opened her eyes, lift the lid from the coffin and set up and have a laugh again. 
The princess said joyfully, You are with me. She told her that what happened in this I love you more than anything else in the world. Come with me to the father's castle. You shall be my wife. Snow was laughing and she went, she went with him. Their wedding was planned with great splendor and majesty. Snow White's weak stepmother was invited to the feast, and then she had arrayed herself in her most beautiful garment and stood before the mirror and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of all? And the mirror said, You, my queen, a fairest, it's true, but the young queen is a thousand times fairer than you. Now knowing that the new queen was indeed her stepdaughter, she arrived the wedding, and her heart filled with deepest dread, dread when she realized the truth. The evil queen was banished from the land forever, and the prince and Snow White lived happy ever after.